thank you for the people around us who help us, who protect us, and who give us um, the food that we need to eat, the money that we need to have, and everything that we need. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Provide Yes, Paul. Yes, ma'am. Ah. Sila. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Sige, pila, pila. Ah, sige, sige, sige. Ah. Okay, let's have first the review of the previous lesson that we have last meeting. So last meeting, ano po yung activities natin, kung malala nyo? O ano pong ginawa natin kahapon? Anyone? Ano po bang ginawa natin kahapon? Of course, meron tayong dissolve. Ano po yun in particular? Is it add, subtract, divide, multiply? Divide. Yes. Last meeting, we were able to divide polynomials. And sabi po sa polynomials, kapag nag-divide ka po ng polynomials, ang, ang exponent po is isa-subtract. So, while hantayin natin yung mga classmate nyo, pumapasok pa kasi. Okay, so I think wala na, makapasok na lahat. So, let's have the review of the previous lesson first. So, ibig sabihin po nito, isosolve muna natin yung mga problems na discuss natin last meeting. So, we have here x plus 2 divided or divided by x squared minus 3x minus 10 divided by x plus 2. And how are we going to divide this one? So, this one, to divide this, ganito po ang gagawin. Unahin niyo po isulat itong isang given x squared. Saan po yan i-divide? Dito kay x. Yun po. Gawin mo natin siya dito. Scratch mo na ito. So, sabi nga po sa pag-divide, isa-subtract lang daw yung exponent if the base are the same. Ngayon, ang base nila is x man, the same. So, isa-subtract lang exponent. Ito siya merong invisible 1, tama? Yung 2 minus 1, magiging 1 na siya. So, x raised to 1. Yung 1, pwede man siyang alisin kasi invisible siya. Yung sagot dito ngayon, yan yung isusulat nyo dito sa taas. Okay, next. Di ba pag mag-divide kayo, for example, 25 divided by 5. 5 divided by 25, that is 5, tama? Tapos, ang next yung nagagawin, kapag nakuha nyo na yung 5, is multiply sila. So, 5 times 5 para makuha dito ang sagot. Tama? So, ngayon, ano ang gagawin nyo kay x? Ito po, para makuha yung sagot dito, ano rin ba ang gagawin? Are we going to multiply din ba? Okay, we are going to multiply din. Kasi tulad po siya nung kanina pag-divide natin, ginamita natin siya ng multiply. So, i-multiply natin yan. X, ito po yan, times X plus 2. Kapag nag-multiply ka ng exponent, i-add mo yung exponent if the base are the same. Tulad nito, X and X. The exponents are, or the base are the same, X and X. Therefore, they have the invisible one exponent. I-add natin yung exponent, that is 2. Tapos ngayon, Tapos na tayo dito. Next na tayo sa second. Dito na tayo. Okay, paano yan isosolve? 2 times x or x times 2. Ngayon, si x, will, meron siyang variable which is numerical coefficient 1 and the variable x. Ito naman 2. So, yung invisible 1, i-multiply mo kay 2, that is 2. Tama? Tapos ngayon, wala mang partner si x. Since wala siyang partner, kopyahin na lang po. And the answer there is x squared plus 2x. Saan yan siya isusulat? Dito yan siya isusulat yung sagot na yan. X squared. Taas. Dito po, sa baba po, dito sa taas. Okay. Yan na yun siya. Tapos, isa-subtract na natin sila. And we are if we are going to subtract this one, meron kang X squared. Binawas naman ng X squared, walang matitira. Dito na tayo sa second. Meron kang negative 3X, binawasan mo ng positive 2X. 
So, yan na yun. Meron kang negative 3, tapos meron ka pang negative 2. So, may utang ka na 3, may utang ka pa na 2. Ilan na lahat? 5. Ilan, ano yun siya? Utang. So, negative din siya kasi utang. Then, ano yung variable na ginamit? X. So, therefore, yung 5X ang sagot. Negative 5X. Yan yung isusulat mo dito. Negative 5X. Okay? Tapos, na-solve naman natin ito, di ba? Dito na tayo, i-bring down natin yung minus 10. Tapos, yung minus 5X, i-divide naman natin. Saan natin i-divide? Sa first pa rin. Sa first lang ha, huwag isali ang 2. Ito lang po. Okay, next. I-divide na natin. Meron kang negative 5, i-divide mo sa invisible 1. So, that is negative 5 also. Lahat ng number na i-divide mo sa 1, magiging same pa din sa given. Ito, meron siyang x, x. The same sila ng variable. And the same sila ng base. May invisible 1, invisible 1. Sabi po, pag mag-divide, subtract lang exponent. Ang exponent niya, 1. Dito naman 1. 1 minus 1, magiging 0. Again, kapag maging 0 ang exponent, pwede po, huwag na po isang isulat na x0. Pwede na po siyang mag same na ganyan na lang. Wala ka nang isulat. Okay? So, negative 5, dito yan siya isusulat sa taas as answer. Yung sagot sa pag-divide nyo, dito ilalagay. Yung sagot sa pag-multiply nyo, dito ilalagay sa baba. Tuwa? Okay, multiply natin. Negative 5, ito po yun, times x plus 2. Negative 5 times x, that is, wala man siyang partner, so kopyahin lang si negative 5 at saka si x. So, yun siya. Next, dito naman tayo sa ikalawa. 2 times 5, that is 10. Kaso lang, si negative 5 is negative. Si 2 naman is positive. Magkaiba sila ng sign, so therefore, negative siya. So the answer here is negative 5x minus 10. Yun naman yung isusulat mo dito, negative 5x minus 10. Now, isubtract natin sila. Meron kang negative 5x minus 10, binawasan mo ng negative 5x minus 10. Walang matitira. Tama? So this is now the answer, x minus 5. That is how to divide Polynomial by a polynomial. Okay, please copy. Ay, hindi pala. Review pala ito. Nas-copy nyo na ito last time. Okay, burahin ko na. Another example. So, we have 38x raised to the fifth power plus 14x cubed plus 2 divided by 2. Ano po yung gagawin dyan? Magkaiba po sila ng itsura kanina. So, ngayon, ganito po ang gagawin natin. I-divide natin siya isa-isa. Okay, 38 divided by 2, that is, ilan? 19. Tama? 19. Tapos, wala mang partner si x, 5, plus siyang partner dito na x, so bring down lang siya. Again, pag walang partner, bring down or copy. Next, 14 divided by 2, that is 7. Wala man din ka-partner ka si x, 5, so bring down lang din siya. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Okay? So, this is now the answer for this example. Now, I would like you to open slido.com. www.slido. Slido.com. Slido. Okay, can you open the link? Slido.com. Okay, tell me kung na-open na. Na-open na po ba? Okay, okay ang code. Ano daw ang code? 2200. Okay, yan po yung code. 2200. Tapos, merong question dyan. Ang sabi sa question, 32y raised to the power of 2 plus 16y minus 2 divided by 2. You are going to answer that one. Kapag meron na kayong sagot, itype nyo lang dyan, tapos tagay nyo ng pangalan. For example, ang sagot nyo, 11x squared plus 12y. Tapos tagay nyo agad ng pangalan nyo. Ganyan po. Okay? 
So start now, you are given five minutes for that. Yes. Hello, bye. Okay, four minutes. Last four minutes. Pag merong sagot, type agad sa slido. Then, do not forget your name. Ah, yes, ma'am. Okay, we have one answer now from Yell. Last three minutes. We have another answers from France and Art Louis. Okay, last last two minutes. Another answer from Brian. Answer from John Bert. Pero hindi daw siya sure. Answer from, walang pangalan. Okay, Del Castillo, meron din po. Okay, ito po yung mga sagot nila. Ngayon natin. So we have 16y squared plus 8y minus 1. 16y plus 1 min plus 8y minus 2. 16y raised to the power of 1, 8y minus 1. Okay, 32y, 3 minus 4, hindi po sigurado. Okay, let us reveal the answer now. Yung mga sagot nyo iba-iba. So let's have it. So we have 32y raised to the power of 2 plus 16y minus 2 divided by 2. So in this case, we are just going to divide it directly. 32 divided by 2, that is 16. Tama? Wala amang partner si y, just bring down. Si 2 plus 6, 2, 2 divided by 16, that is 8. Wala daman partner si y, just bring down. 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Kaso lang, negative siya, si 2 dito sa taas. Dito naman, positive si 2 sa taas. Magkaiba sila ng sign, therefore, magiging negative siya. So, we have the following answer. Neg uh, 16y squared plus 8y minus 1. So, sino po nakatama? Ipirma lang dira, ma'am, tapos pagwag isa ka module. Okay, sino po nakatama? Meron po ba? From PL, he is correct. So, isa lang ata nakatama. Yeah, it's only one. It's only PL. And merong isa dito kasi lang walang pangalan. Okay, yan po yung mga sagot ninyo. Okay, thanks for participation. So, proceed tayo sa next one. 
Ah, sige, ma'am. Okay, today, we will have a, another game. So, that is a Zoom game, Zoom in game. So, hulaan nyo yung image based sa picture na naka-zoom in. And based on that picture, magkakaroon tayo ng problem solving. So, let's start. You don't need to open your microphone. You just need to type your answer in the chat box. Please do not speak out your answer. Just type on the chat box. Okay, let's start. The picture is this. Clue. That's the clue. <laughs> what word is that? I, what image is that? Okay, another clue. Pwede siyang kainin. Banana. <laughs> Orange from Hana? Question mark? I want, hindi, gusto ko hindi question mark. Okay, next clue. Bread, honey. So, may nakatama agad. That's orange. Ang bilis naman. Hindi man lang kayo pinahirapan. Samantalang sa ibang section, maabot kayo ni 5 minutes bago yan masagutan. So, the answer here is citrus, lemon, or orange. So, this is the image of an orange in a microscope. So, yung isang butil nga, pag, di ba pag binuksan niyo yung orange, meron siyang mga malilit na butil. Yung balat nun, gipasok sa microscope. Yan yung itsura niya. So, that is the orange. So, our problem now will focus on oranges. So, I have here, there are 8x squared plus 36x minus 16 oranges. Please start copying in a basket. Then, mother divides them equally among four children. How many oranges does each child get? Sabi po daw dito, meron daw orange si mami. And that is 8x squared plus 36 minus 16 na bilag. Ngayon, Kailangan niya daw itong i-divide sa apat na anak niya. Ilan daw yung makukuha na kanyang anak? So, copy muna, then we, I will explain. Okay, ito na po yun siya. So, we have the given 8x squared plus 36x minus 16. And we are going to divide this one into um, 4. Oy. We are going to divide this one into 4. So, again, paano yan siya divide? Madali lang po. Alam kong alam nyo ang sagot. Okay, start now answering Wow, let's take it. We have 2x squared plus 9x. Is that 9? Yes, 9x minus 16. Others, other answers, please? Sino pa po may ibang sagot? We have answer of 2x squared plus 9x minus 4. 16 po from my Urgel. Hey, Urgel, take note, 16 divided by 4. I think there is something wrong with what you divide. Franz, the same answer. Cherise, the same answer. Okay, let's reveal na ba? Apat, pa lang nakasagot. Apat pala. So, the same answer. So, 2x squared plus 9x minus 4. John Bert, 2x squared plus 9x minus 4. Okay, let's reveal the answer. So, 8 divided by 4. Of course, 2. My partner bus x squared. Wala. Just bring down. Next, 36x divided by 4. 
36 divided by 4, that is 9. Walang partner sa x, just bring down. 4 divided by 16, that is 4. Kaso lang, negative po. Dito, positive siya. Magkaiba sila ng sign, therefore, negative. And the answer is 2x squared plus 9x minus 4. Okay, very good. Nakuha niyo na. So, madali lang, di ba? Next, number 2. Guess the image. Ah, by the way, kung tama kayo, copy the answer. Ay, tama, kung tama kayo, huwag niyo na kopihin. Yung mali, kopihin pa ang answer. Pero tama man lahat. Okay, the next image is this. Guess the word. I guess the image. Pebbles. Malapit na. Okay, next clue. It start with let I know na lang. I dito. Banana. <laughs> Hindi yan banana, bato. <laughs> ah, Hindi yan paint. Malapit na, pero hindi yan siya paint. <laughs> Hindi po yan paint. Next clue. Um, mabato or mabalas ito. Mabato or mabalas ito. Meron itong bato o kaya meron itong balas. Putik. <laughs> Mabato. Sun. Ang sun niya ng I3 siya sa sun sign. <laughs> Yuta. <laughs> okay. Next clue. Meron siyang maraming damo. <laughs> Tama ka yun, Mary. Meron siyang maraming damo. Ano tawag dyan? Meron siyang maraming damo. Guess what? Next, next clue, next clue pala yan. Yes, that is soil. That is soil. May nakatama na. Soil. Okay. Very good. Yellow. Yeah, nakatama na rin. Soil. So, that is a soil or land. So, next. Ang problem natin focuses on land or soil. The area of a parallelogram land is 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. And its base is 2x plus 3. What is the height? So the, the problem here is about the area of a parallelogram. So pag sinabi mong area, the formula is base times height. Pero ang tinatanong dito, meron daw siyang base. Tapos meron daw siyang the area, meron daw siyang area. So hahanapin natin si height. So paano natin malaman kung height ba ang hinahanap? Yung question, tingnan nyo, what is the height? So therefore, height ang hinahanap natin. And kapag isolve mo ang height, ang formula is area over base. So, i-divide daw natin si area kay base. Yan yung formula. So, i-divide natin. So, area that is 8x squared plus 10x minus 3. I-divide daw natin siya kay base na 2x plus 3. Okay, let us answer this one all together. Kasi alam ko mahirap ito sa inyo, pero kung alam nyo, pwede kayong magsagot. Okay, the first thing to divide is 8x squared. Tama? Saan natin siya i-divide? Anyone? Saan natin i-divide sa 8x squared? Ito siya, itong 8x squared. Yes, i-divide natin siya sa pinakauna lang. Pinakauna lagi yan, hindi pwede isali si 3. Yung pinakauna lang, i-divide natin siya sa 2x. Okay, pag i-divide natin, what's the answer? Sige daw. 8x squared divided by 2x. What's the answer? 4x. That is 4x. Bakit siya naging 4x? 8 divided by 2, that is 4. x squared, meron siyang invisible 1. Pareho sila ng base, so isasabtra ang exponent. 2 minus 1, 1. So x invisible 1. So pwede siyang alisin. So that is 4x. So, susulat natin si 4x dito. Tapos, magmumultiply na tayo. Yung 4x, i-multiply natin kay 2x plus 3. Saan galing si 4x? Ito yung sagot ninyo. Saan naman galing si 2x plus 3? Ito yun siya yung dito. Okay. So, pag mag-multiply, i-add ang exponent. Pag walang partner, kopyahin lang. Okay, what's the answer kapag i-multiply nyo siya? Again, 
Ang clue dito, kapag merong exponent, i-add lang ang exponent. Pag walang partner, kopyahin lang ang dalawang partner. Twenty-four daw are three, so eight x plus twelve. Abrayan kulang ka. Ang exponent dapat iyan. May invisible one, may invisible yan one sila. So pag iyan mong dalawang exponent, magiging squared na siya. Una natin gagawin ito. Two times four, eight. The exponent is invisible one, invisible one. So kopyahin natin yung base, which is x. One plus one magiging two. Ama. Next, dito na tayo sa kabila. Wala mang partner. So, kopyahin lang natin. So, 3 times 4 magiging 12. Wala mang partner sa x, kopyahin lang si x. And the answer here is 8x squared plus 12. Okay, burahin ko muna. 8x squared plus 12. Yang sagot na yan, dito mo isusulat. 8x squared plus 12x. Okay. Yan na yun siya, yung sagot sa multiply natin kanina. Tapos, isasubtract natin. Meron kang 8x squared, di-minusan mo ng 8x squared, 0 na ang sagot. Next, meron kang 10x, di-minusan mo ng 12x. Meron kang utang na 12, binayaran mo ng 10, ilan yung kulang mo? 2x. Tama. And it, since it is kulang, Kasi mas malaki man yung utang mo kaysa sa binayad mo, may kulang ka pa. It should be negative. Negative 2x. Okay. Yung sagot na negative 2x, dito mo ilalagay. Nasolve na natin ito, tama? So bring down mo na yung negative 3. So magdi-divide na naman tayo. Anong i-divide natin? Itong negative 2x, i-divide natin siya saan? Sa pinakaunang number dito. That is 2x. So 2 divided by 2, that is 1. Kaso lang, Negative sa taas, positive dito. Magkaiba ng, magkaiba ng sign. Pag magkaiba ng sign, magiging negative din siya. Okay? Next, x sub 1, eh, x raised to 1, x, x raised to 1. ba pag mag-divide, isasubtract din yung exponent. So, 1 minus 1, magiging 0. Anong mangyayari ngayon pag 0 ang exponent? Hindi na kukopyahin, ba? So, remain na lang ito ang sagot. Negative 1. So, isusulat dyan, minus 1. Next, imumultiply na natin yung minus 1 times 2x plus 3. Okay, negative, sige daw, negative 1 times 2, that is 2 lang. Or 1 times 2, that is 2. Kaso lang, magkaiba sila ng sign, magiging negative. And meron man siyang variable, wala siyang variable dito, so kopyahin lang. Next, 1 times 3, magiging 3. Kaso lang, positive dito, negative dito. Magiging negative siya ngayon. So, negative 2x minus 3. So, isusulat na natin yung negative 2x minus 3 dito. Tapos, isasubtract natin sila. Meron kang negative 2x minus 3. Babawasan mo ng negative 2x minus 3. May matitira pa ba? Of course, wala na. And that is 0. So, the answer here is 4x minus 1. Okay, very good. At least, nakaparticipate kayo. Okay, next. That is now the area of a parallelogram. Okay, please copy the question and the answer for your basis. Okay, type done if you're done so that I will know. Okay, maybe I could proceed now. So the next is...
image is this. What is that? It is two words. Two words siya. Kulang pa ng isa. Okay. Book, paper, cardboard. Galing naman. Kabilis-bilis naman. Kainis yung section nyo ba? Katama agad. The answer is cardboard. <laughs> Makainis. Kabilis-bilis yung makasagot. May ibang section, abot na kami ng 10 minutes dito sa 5 minutes dito sa last, sa last pa namin image. Hindi pa nila nasagot. That is a cardboard para pang gift wrapper. Okay? So, dami talaga matalino sa section nyo. So, let's focus our answer on cardboard. So, or gift, box gift. Iba usually yung mga pag bumili kayo ng box gift, yung mis mismong gift na talaga or nakabox na talaga na gift, ginabalot siya sa cardboard. So, pag tinignan yung cardboard, isang kuan lang siya, isang layer. Pero pag binuks, ay pag bifocus yun sa sa microscope, ganito pala siya kadami ang layers. Hindi na pala yun siya isang papel. Pinagpatong-patong na papel na parang karton. Okay? Let's focus now on this problem. We are going to divide this one. So we have x squared plus 5x plus 12. And we are going to divide it by x plus 4. Sige daw, kayo muna mag-start. Kayo muna mag-start. So unang gagawin, si x squared, i-divide kay x. What's the answer? Type the checkbox. x squared pa din. Make, take note, meron siyang invisible 1. So 2 minus 1 magiging x cubed. Yeah, x1, x sub 1, I x raised to 1, friends. Get x cubed. Take note, kapag Kapag divide, isa-subtract po. Hindi po i-add. So, ano po ba dapat ang sagot? So, x squared minus invisible 1. Minus po lagi kapag divide. So, that is x raised to 1. Okay, x is our answer here. Okay? Next. The next thing to do is multiply. So, yung x na ito, multiply kay x plus 4. x plus 4. Okay, what's the answer? When you multiply, i-add ang exponent. Kung walang partner, kopyahin ang mag-partner. x squared plus 4x from PL. x squared plus 4. Again, kit, pag walang partner, kopyahin. Franz, ladra, x, bakit x lang? Hit, x squared plus 4x. Franz, x squared plus 4. Again, Franz, kapag walang partner, kopihin lang yung dalawang number or dalawang variable. So, x squared plus 4x, Art Louis, Hannah, and Franz. Therese, okay, let's find out. x times x, magiging x squared. Po. Next, x times 4, wala po silang partner, kopihin lang po. Plus 4x. Yan na po yung isusulat dito sa baba. So, x squared plus 4x. Okay, kapag i-subtract natin, ito siya magiging 0. Ito naman, 5 minus 4. 5x minus 4x. What's the answer? Isa-subtract natin, 5 minus 4x. 1 or 1x, sabi nila. Take note, meron silang apelyedo or variable. Ano pong variable nila? Dapat merong variable. Negative nga ba or positive? Sino bang mas malaki? Si 5 or si 4? Meron kang pambayad na 5, may utang ka na 4. So meron ka pang sukli. Sukli is positive. So the answer here is positive 1x. Or invisible man ang 1, so pwedeng positive x na lang. So dito magiging invisible man ang 1, so magiging x na lang siya. Next. Nasawag na natin ito, i-bring down na si 12. So, ang next thing to do, i-divide natin itong x. Ito po, ito siya. Saan natin i-divide? Sa x din dito. 
So x divided by x, what's the answer? Zero. Okay. Um, yung kay Kit po na zero at saka yung sinag zero kanina. Basta yun, yung may zero po, ang, di ba, ganito yan siya, invisible one, invisible one. So, one minus one magiging zero, tama? So, ang zero is dito sa taas. So, therefore, exponent na yung zero. Pag ang exponent is zero, automatic siya magiging equal kay one. Ganyan yung tandaan nyo. Ha? So, the answer here is, one only. So, okay, one na po. Next, i-multiply nyo itong 1 times x plus 4. Magiging x plus 4 na siya. Kasi pag i-multiply nyo si 1 times x plus 4, x plus 4 din yung sagot. Next, isa-subtract ninyo. Ito siya 0. 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4. 12 minus 4. That is? Ilan? Ang 12, binawasan ng 4. 3? 8. That is? 8. Positive, negative. That is positive, of course. So, 8 ang sagot, ang remainder. Itong, itong number na ito, 8 siya magiging remainder. Bakit magiging remainder? Kasi wala namang sumunod na number na pwede i-bring down. Okay? So, kapag merong remainder, tulad nito, ngayon ang isasagot nyo. Since plus 8 siya dyan, plus ka dito, 8 isulat mo sa taas, over, ano yung over? Itong x plus 4. Kapag merong remainder, isulat ang x plus 4. And saan yung x plus 4 galing yan po? Yan po. Okay? So, ganyan na po siya. Ang ang sagot ngayon, x plus 1, remainder 8 over x plus 4. Nakuha po ba? Okay, please copy for your reference. Then type done if you're done. Okay, matamatahin nyo na lang. Ang sagot sa baba, 0 plus 8. Tapos dito naman, 8 sa taas. Kasi magkasya sa screen. Ba't na wala? O, oh, dana daw si Chris Aaron. <laughs> Chris Aaron, nag-present ka naman ng cellphone mo. <laughs> well, anyway, since patapos naman din tayo, wait lang ha. Naglit lang. Chris Aaron, i-exit mo yung kuan mo. Yung present mo. Okay, na po. So, nakopya na ba? Nadan nyo na, dan, dan, dan. Okay. Dito po mag-end ang ating lesson kasi meron po kayo di ba online after this. Tama ba ako sa TV nyo? So, para makarest po kayo, we will end the lesson here. Wala po tayong game or quiz. Um, this lesson is part of grade 8 lesson. Ang lesson natin yung normal na divide lang talaga ng polynomials. Pero sinali ko lang ito so that we could be able to prepare for your grade 8. Para pagdating nyo ng grade 8, magtanong si teacher paano i-divide. At least meron na kayong alam. Hindi kayo ma-stress na, hala, hindi ko yan alam. Wala hindi turo sa amin ni Sir Yumang, hindi ganun. So at least, natutunan nyo na ito para pagdating nyo ng grade 8, easy na lang po. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoy your the class today. Goodbye everyone. Bye, sir. Goodbye po, sir. Bye, sir. Bye po, sir. Apo.